Thank you very much. And now it's Rocco time. Yeah. Rocco, we have two segments for you. First, let's start with a movie review. Yes. And uh, I'll tell you, the one movie I'm pumped to see is the uh, is the uh, Frankie Valley movie. Yeah. Jersey Boys. I'm doing that in two weeks. Next right. show. I'm pumped for that movie. Next but show. let's talk about this week's movie review. Yes. Um, the movie that I'm doing this week is The Fault in Our Stars. It is based on a popular novel by jo uh, John Green. It's directed by Josh Boone and it stars Shailene Woodley and Ansel Elgort. Hazel Lancaster, played by Woodley, is a 16-year-old cancer patient who meets Augustus Waters, played by Elgort, who is a cancer survivor. Um, the thing about this movie, um, what's incredible about it, is that there's a lot of now, this is like part of a long tradition in romantic dramas. We've seen it as far back as like Love Story um, from 1970. There's been a few variations that have been out in other countries that are personal favorites of mine, like Turkish Delight, which is a, a classic Dutch film. Um, as far as this movie is concerned, the um, what I like about this particular movie is that it tells the story of this, you know, these two people, you know, going through like immense, you know just the worst thing that you would ever expect a young person to go through. And they deal with it in a very genuine way, a mixture of humor, kind of, you know, kind of like a sarcastic type of humor. And, you know, it's very sweet too. And I mean, the problem with a lot of these movies, in the, you know, usually is that they're, they tend to be very cloying and they kind of, the emotions that they have on you are very forced and stuff. So, I mean, there is a lot, you will cry a lot watching this movie. It's, it's that intense. And, but it's also very sweet. It's very, it has a bitter sweetness to it that you feel like when you go through the movie, it, it's genuine. You feel like you identify with these characters. Um, Shailene Woodley and Ansel Elgort do a terrific job with this movie. The director does a good job. Job in terms of you know keeping everything nice and paced and it's not exploitative or anything like that. So I have to say, like this would definitely be if there was any romantic drama that you girls could take your boyfriends to, this would be it. I think your boyfriends it, with this one will feel like they're not being manipulated at all. They will. This is the romantic drama to see. You know, you know if you're in a relationship with somebody. So I definitely give. The Fault in Our Stars, three out of five stars. So thank you very much for that. All right. Rocco, um, unfortunately, when some of these horrific tragedies happen, like in Connecticut, yes. like recently in California, yes. one similarity about yes. the, the young man that committed right. the horrible tragedy in, in Connecticut and the, and the one in California is they both have Asperger's syndrome like you do. And sometimes people can say, well, he had Asperger's, and I know you take that personally. And I know you have strong views, but another aspect of this uh, tragedy in California is one author from the Washington Post blamed it on a movie. Yeah. Talk about your feelings, because I know you have strong yeah, feelings yeah. on this, Rock. Yeah, I was... I was you know, gobsmacked when I heard about what happened in, in California with this with this young man. And no, I don't believe that movies really had anything to do with what was going on. I understand why the, the columnist made this point because there's um, a culture that we have in the society, a very um, you know male-driven type of culture where it, it, it may mis people can misconstrue that into believing that males are entitled to certain things, perhaps even women. And, I mean, the thing that was most chilling about this whole episode is, you know, you see these women, particularly on on uh, on the Twitter uh, feed, they were talking about all their um, instances that they've had dealing with men, and it's a real eye opener for you know for me personally as a guy because you know I, I try very hard personally as a guy to always you know do my best you know to treat women with respect, and I feel like you know I, I feel like that's the real thing with this tragedy that people don't understand in terms of the way this guy behaved. You know, the guy may have had this um, bit on the autism spectrum, but, you know, the place that he went to is like a very dark place, and it's, it's one of the things that can happen when you don't have the kind of social structure around you to really be able to, you know, deal with all the, the ups and downs of life. I'm very fortunate that I've had parents that have been very supportive of me. I've had, um, you know, friends, and especially in this town in Long Beach, that have been very, very supportive of me and, and always have my back. And I, I, I thank every single person I've met from Long Beach, from everywhere in my life, from the bottom of my heart, to you know, that have really got me where I am today. And I, I just want people to understand, in terms of you know, autism, that you know, we are human beings. We we don't we do go through our ups and downs. I mean, we not be as 
emotionally open to people as maybe people would, would like us to be, but I feel like we need people to understand that we are just as in need of that kind of, you know, maybe that friendly little hand or that, that talk or, you know, when we're troubled. And, I mean, because sometimes we're not always in, um, in full admittance of, of when we are in, in, in denial of, of, of what's going on with us. So, um, but I really do feel that um, I, just, I just hope people understand, you know, especially for young men to understand that, you know, you have to, you know, your fathers have to teach young men that, that to treat women with respect and to not look at women as prizes to be won but as human beings, you know, that's very, very important because, you know, women go through a lot in terms of dealing with life and, you know, I feel like they have a, they, they feel kind of this insecurity and vulnerability of, 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 you know, the world around them and I think that we have to try to always do our best to make our women feel safe and to feel secure and to, you know, just to always be there for them, even, you know, in times where, you know, they may not be in the in, in the best frame of mind. So I, I really hope that people understand that when they, they look and they talk about this. So thank you very much for letting me speak my mind on this. Great job, Rocco Azuzul. Um, young man.